Demons R Us are certainly making a splash on the used arcane item retail scene. Blackhawk, yeah, we've got we have got a dodge Blackhawk. He rolled doubles on his first level up, so we gave him the big old dodge. Not obviously not because we're gonna um we're gonna be dodging around with him, but mainly because um it just makes him harder to deal with. It means it means they have to um they have to send tackle pieces to deal with him, which is nice. Just just being able to get a black hook in there. I mean obviously he's gonna be much better once he gets block. Um and it does it does mean that you're kind of a little bit boned until you get the block afterwards. But I you know, I couldn't really pass up the um couldn't really pass up the um the opportunity. Um do I want to pay the extra and get a bright nah we'll just take a babe and be done with it. Uh where's the babe? I do very much love I compared to the dwarves though, I will say one thing about the um Oh yeah, definitely Super Razor, definitely. Yeah, it's a, it's one of those situations where we got we got the dodge and we couldn't really turn down the dodge. It does make life a little bit harder until he levels up again. But Are you, ready, you know, Bob? we'll um, ready. Jump. we'll quite um, we'll quite happily just play play with that block until until level level two for the dodge. Um, Orcs are your favourite, are they, Riff? Oh, that's good. That's good. I, I, to be fair, I'd never really played orcs before. Before I started, they, like I've said before on stream, like I'm, I was mainly a human player. I played humans because I haven't really played. I haven't played up and before Christmas when I started streaming. I've played Blood Bowl on and off, but I'd never really played it extensively enough to like really play all the teams a lot. Um, so I do actually want to. I'm, I'm looking forward to playing all the teams which I've never played and trying to get a little bit better as, as we go along. Um, right, block linemen. Have we got any? We don't have any block black orcs at the moment yet, which is a, sh which is a shame. But um, I'm not quite sure what the best way to do. I feel like, even though, yeah, I don't know. I kind of feel like putting them on the line just means that has he got much in the way of guard? Right, he's got two guard pieces, but they're on both on blitzers. He's got one guard lineman. Okay. So I don't know. I feel like if we put the Blackhawks on the line like this, I feel like it at least means he has to commit like so many players. Um, They, uh, yeah, I don't feel like um, I feel like putting the Blackhawks like this and actually like committing them to the line actually makes it so that he has to in turn commit a lot of players himself. So I'm going to do it. It's not necessarily the way I would go about it with every team, but I definitely feel like it's kind of been working all right for for the Orcs. Um, and who's that? That's just a lineman. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> you can't make Deep Fast. I, I haven't even, I didn't even, like, I, I saw, briefly saw the Deep Fast tournament thing, but I wasn't quite sure what it was. Uh. That's funny. Go oh, off, me. I, I, I've definitely been playing a lot of Blood Bowl too. Like when you, you're catching people in the NAF league, you're like, "Oh, I, I know you from somewhere." <laughs> That's good though. It's good. I'm glad. At least people have seen. At least people have seen the um, seen things. Oh right, I may have to um, I may have to try and sneak in it one day. I may have to try and sneak in it one day. Uh, to be honest, I've just been so like. I haven't really been playing it. I've just been like, whenever I've had this, whenever, whenever I've had the spare time, I've just been like, right, I've got some spare time. Let's just get the stream on. Like, I've really just been trying to put as many hours as I've possibly got into it. Um. Miller Duo. I'll have to remember Miller Duo's name. He seems to know El Mato. 
who has been about quite a bit. I haven't seen him today, but he comes around reasonably often. So yeah, with the with the orcs, I'm really not sure. I'm really not sure. I'm not sure what people who play a lot of orcs would say is the best way to go about it. Like, if he had a bunch, like a ton of guard, I'd be like, okay, maybe I won't do this. But I feel like making him commit, like, at least two blitzers and two linemen and yoga to the line. Um, On balance, I prefer the is, to running down the field. is worthwhile for us. Is for the elite. <laughs> Lizard's OP. <laughs> uh... That's a reasonable kick. Reasonable kick. So he's got four. So yeah, now I've got a charm. I'm gonna have a quick, uh, quick look at his team. Um, what's that catcher? He's gone. Uh, see, I'm not sure. I, I really, I kind of dislike this. I kind of. I, I kind of dis. He's got wrestle on the catcher. He's he's got wrestle on the catcher, which I which I kind of dislike. Um, mainly because if if you have any hope of your catcher retaining the ball, wrestle just seems like a really weird skill to give him. Unless unless he's literally gonna go. Oh, he's, he's he got double. He's going okay. He's definitely playing. He's definitely playing a different sort of human team to the one to when I played mine because he's gone double thrower. Um, and he's got a catcher, but the catcher's got wrestle, which which I find a little odd because it kind of means that giving him the ball, it, 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 it's very unreliable for him to have the ball in hand now because um, he can't. It, 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 there's just so few blocks he can survive. Like now, if if I if I if you get someone with tackle near him, he's going to get a two dice block a two dice block against him, and he can't he can't stand up on a both down. And he can't stand up on a defender stumbles. Like he, he, he's just going to end up on the floor a load. Um, which so that seems kind of odd. And double thrower is just like I suppose it's the same principle as the dwarves having double runner. It does give you a spare person to pick up the ball, but I really don't feel like humans are a team that necessarily struggles to pick up the ball any more than anyone else. So I don't know. It's definitely different to the to the to the team to my team when I had it. Um, and he's gone for piling on on the ogre. Um, he's gone piling on break tackle, so he's got a level three ogre, and he hasn't sold him. So I don't know, maybe. Um, yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong. There is very much, there is very much the possibility that he plays the humans as as essentially a running team with the two. I think you know there is the distinct possibility that what he could do in the future is he could end up playing two runners with dump off. And he could use the catcher purely to try and snipe the ball carrier. Or like, you know, if he can get in there with an assist and get like a wrestle block. If he gives him like strip ball maybe or leap or something like that. There is, he could quite easily go that way with the human team. And it could probably turn out to be really fun and interesting and a good way to play him. Like I'm not necessarily saying the way he's doing it is completely outright wrong. I'm just saying that I'm like, as it stands right now, it's a little bit weird to have wrestle on the catcher. But maybe he has a plan. Like I can definitely see a plan whereby in the future it turns out to be like part of where he was going with the team. So maybe there is that. Maybe there is that. That's all it is. It's just trying to, you know, I do tend to try to have a look at people's teams and have a poke around and and try and decide if I would have done things differently. But because um, I just like my catcher, the first, um, eh, we're not going to happen that. The first thing my catcher, my catchers get is always block. Like I feel like block on the catchers is kind of essential. Um, this is something that I, I I would never put I would never personally do, which is why I'm kind of interested in it. Um, but yeah, maybe he maybe he ends up going the route where he makes his catches very defensive. Um, but if you're gonna like this, if you're gonna give your catcher the ball though, he really should not have wrestle. I don't I really don't see the point in it. Um, So you stand up. Black Orc goes over here. Uh, did we get a? No, we didn't. Um, we have a, I was just checking. This. I'm so used to playing with a bribe after playing the dwarves, which uh, <laughs> I'm like, okay, let me uh, let me see if I got a bribe. But no, I don't. Um, okay.
The attacker has an assist. <laughs> a new, a new Brett. He's going for Brett's 2.0, is he? <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I'm definitely like I can definitely see that there may be a plan which would involve making a defensive. Like if you made a really defensive catcher who had like wrestle and stuff like that, and just kind of made him really awkward to deal with, um, then I can definitely see that maybe working out. You know, he'd be really good against like gutter runners and stuff that he could just one dice block and maybe wrestle them to the floor. I can definitely see that as an option. Um, but I do feel like if you're going to go wrestle on the catcher, then giving him the ball seems like a kind of a weird, weird idea. Like, I feel like that's not, that's not the, like, you're not intending him to be a ball carrier if you give him wrestle. Um, we're not going to send, we are going to keep a blitzer back, uh, along with the thrower, just in case. Um, we're going to keep the blitzer sort of over here. And I throw a reasonably central. Just in case. Mm -mm 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 uh is this League of Legends? Diet Double Dew. I do like your name. No, this is not League of Legends. This is Blood Bowl 2. This is Blood Bowl 2. Although I am I am actually a pretty big fan of League of Legends. I do I do like the game. I I watch it quite a lot when the LTS is on. Um And I probably will end up playing some on stream at some point, actually, to be fair. Because I am very, very interested in for anyone that plays League of Legends and knows that about the new champion select thing, most people is probably like, nope, no idea. But they've got a new champion select whereby you get to pick which position you play. And when that comes in, then I might play it a bit more. I haven't played it in a while. Uh, Russell. Okay. Yeah, no, Mighty Radical. I'm not sure. Was anyone asking what Russell does? If anyone wants to know exactly what Russell does, then, uh, then that, especially. Um, yeah, League of Legends over Dota for me. I have played a lot. Of, you know, I I have played Dota. My friends play Dota. I do. I I just find Dota too. Like, and again, this is not to say. I know a lot of people would. A lot of people would say. Um, oh, you know what? Yeah, sorry. You know what, Mineras? I'll explain that in a minute. Um, yeah, no, I'll explain why that is in a minute. Um, why that got deleted um, but for me I I prefer I prefer low over Dota not because I think Dota is a bad game I think Dota is a very very good game um, it's just that when it comes to playing it I just I just enjoy playing low more than I enjoy playing Dota every time I play Dota I always try playing Dota with my mates because they all play Dota and it just I've, I get way more frustrated playing Dota than I do get playing low because it's just it's, it's a lot more snowball-y like Dota, I would I would say that Dota is much more punishing than Low is in, in regards to if you're playing and the game goes badly, it goes so badly that it just becomes so not fun that because there's a lot of games where you play Dota and you're just like, oh, it's five minutes in and we're already losing so badly that there's nothing we can do about it. I'm not. There's probably people who are better than Dota than me that are like, no, you're talking rubbish. And I'm not saying that's the truth. I'm just saying sometimes that's how I feel playing it. Like I, I get a bit frustrated with Dota sometimes. I'm like, oh, well, it's it's five minutes in and the game's already out of control. Um, which is why I tended to have less fun playing Dota than I did playing LoL. Um, and then over time, because I had more fun playing LoL, I started to watch LoL more, and the more I watched it, the more I got into it, and the more I enjoyed it. It's basically the way it went for me. Um, and Mineras is a uh, Mineras, as far as um, the reason why that got thing, why that got um, Moobot times, well, Moobot said no, is because um, yeah, the the slash me messages, like again, I'm sure you're you, you're a good guy, like you've been in the chat a lot. I don't think you are intentionally doing anything suspicious about it but you know the other day I had some guy come in with the slash me fake donation messages and I know what it was but people just love to troll with it so um, I can't get in there unfortunately we can get a tackle zone on the ball do I want to make one one dodge with a reroll is the question maybe maybe um, we will see 
we we see. We want a guy over here. This guy is going to stay. Can we get? Can I get a guy up here? And yeah, I could probably get a guy up here and then cover this way. Would be easier. I feel like I'm certainly going to make the 50% dodge with a reroll and try and get a blitz. Because if I fall over, it's not the end of the world. I'll make some two dice, two dice blocks beforehand. Uh, Moba, yeah, the community thing, the community thing is a problem. I, and again, I've definitely found not a problem. Like I, I, because I don't really let things like that bother me. I, I'm just, I, I, if people just are doing randomly weird stuff, like it does, it doesn't. Games don't upset me enough that I'm like, oh my god, it's stressing me out. Blah blah blah. But um, yeah, there, there are definitely times playing MOBAs because you have to rely on four other people to all kind of be doing the same thing. Oh, we made the dodge, which is great for us. Uh, I feel like I'm going to re-roll that because this is about as good a chance as any to um, get the ball. And again, see, this is why this is why I feel like wrestle is so bad on on a catcher. Like it just doesn't it, it doesn't really do it for me. He's in a position now where he can. I'm not going to make this block now because now the thrower's here. He has to. He has to do stuff. Um, yeah, I mean, if you if you if you've got four people that play mobas that you can all play together, it is an infinitely better experience. It really is. Um, but um, but yeah, I still enjoy it. I still enjoy it. I think it definitely you know it definitely becomes a case of how seriously you take it and how annoyed you get with other people. Um, I tend to not let it bother me too much. Like other people on LOL bother me about as much as bad luck on Blood Bowl. I'm like, ah, it's, you know, I'll have a little whinge about it and then I'll forget all about it. Um, but yeah, no, that, that's that's the way I go with the MOBAs. But yeah, I played, um, I played all of them. The most... Yeah, I know, I know. Just, you know what it is? It's... I just hate the most the, the big problem with it the big problem that I have is that everyone's always like as soon as someone does something bad everyone's always just jumping on their back you know like oh my god you gave up first blood report him after the game and, and it just it, it blows my mind how people how quickly people forget that they are not perfect and they don't always have a good game like literally you, every time someone has a bad game like it's like everyone else in the game suddenly is like a lol professional and is the greatest player ever and never has a bad game which is just crazy to me but um, that, that's kind of the weird part that's kind of the harsh part about it you know sometimes it, it's a little bit oh no our thrower got knocked out which is really unfortunate because now we're going to kind of struggle to pick the ball up now, but the good thing is he's, he he still has to make dodges with his catcher, and we got a guy free. Um, but yeah, people do people do get really like really crazy playing mobas and stuff with regards to the talking absolute nonsense and just generally being unfun to people to play with. Which is why I kind of haven't played in a while, and why I'm kind of waiting till I can, you know, play with the new champ select and just be like, all right, I'm gonna pick this position. Oh yeah, don't get me wrong, yeah, blitzers do do in a pit. Bl blitzers definitely do. Blitzers definitely do. Um, on a, on a human team, you know, you can get by quite easily um, without the um, without the thrower. I I feel like again, it's kind of unfortunate we are losing the punch battle against the humans. That's never that's never ideal, but. We will do what we can. That's good. Oh, it's a shame that... It's a shame that he made it the second time round. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I do... I, I definitely enjoy it. It's one of those things. MOBAs are one of the... Probably the... As far as professional, like, esports go. Between that and fighting games. They're the things I like watching the most. Um... But yeah, like, the main reason I got into it is because of, um... The main reason I ended up playing LoL as well was because of the LCS. Because of the fact that they had a league format. Um, and, and that was, for me, that just made it infinitely more interesting to watch. Like, I actually like watching Dota. Um, and I'll quite happily watch it, like, every so often when the, um, the international rolls around. I mean, it's worth watching the international just because of the ridiculous money involved. But... I definitely, um, 
Oh, let me just stand this guy up first. God, we're having a bit of a rough time of it here. With, uh... That works. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? Uh, no, I'll just tie up. I'll tie up one. And then... One dice in there, maybe. One dice in there. Two dice there. Okay. Um, where are we going to make our blitz here? Is the question. I feel like we're going to make the dodge with a re-roll. And do it this way. There we go. Tries to secure the ball. Um. Don't want to pick it up. I suppose if I pick it up, it does make life slightly more awkward for him. Yeah, go on in, because at least he has to block me then. Uh, I will use a reroll. Because at least he has to block me and now... Um... Oh, never mind. Yeah, I mean, I do I do, en I do, enjoy watching it because, you know, when the international rolls around, there's just so much money involved. It, just, it does kind of make it fun. Um, and I do like the big tournaments. But I just, like, I much prefer, like... The fact that the LOL had a league format, which I could watch weekly, and see like which team ended up being good and bad every week, and just made it more fun to watch for me. It's like the the Korean the Korean um, LOL league. Um, I re like the fact that I could just sit and watch it all at a weekend and be like, oh, I'm going to sit and watch LOL league games for the next four hours past the time. Just kind of made it made it more fun for me. Well, not more fun, but made it so that it was uh, more enjoyable to watch. Um, but yeah, Jeremy, I definitely, I know a lot of people who are the same with the MOBAs. They end up going off them because they can't handle all the people going crazy in chat and, you know, just going nuts for no reason. I think that is, that is obviously the biggest, the biggest way that, um, the biggest, the biggest problem that MOBAs have just in general. The fact that you, the fact that it's a team game, it requires you to like really rely on rely on five people to um you need to really rely on the other four people to kind of at least attempt to do the same things as you at a reasonable reasonably the same time to make things work um and you know one one bad apple spoils can spoil a game for like four other people but it doesn't happen anywhere near as much as i think it used to like i haven't really come across it in a long time yeah, I think I think virtually every 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 online game which requires some some form of teamwork does um Yeah, well, he is screening me well, but the good thing is that this is his drive. So, I don't really care. <laughs> like he, he, we kicked off. So, um So we're all right with this. We may see that player later if they win. So he committed his right. Okay, so he committed his guys to surfing the linemen instead of making the ball safe. Okay. Oh, he's going to get into the. Yeah, he kicked off radical. He oh, sorry, I kicked off. So we're actually we're actually okay with this. We just we really like apart from that one surf. The one surf is kind of you know it is what it is. But the fact that we got a KO and an injury to just the one KO is kind of kind of hard at the moment he's definitely he's definitely though doing a good job at like not not just getting out muscled by the Yorks um yeah I honestly like like I I, I definitely feel like that I feel like that used to be the case Black. I, I definitely feel like it used to be the case that Dota was a lot harder than LOL from for me anyway, having played both of them, I definitely if if there was someone who'd never played a MOBA who was new to the genre and they and they said to me, Oh, which one do you think I should play? I would tell them to go play LOL, because I feel like they'd have an easier time picking it up. Um But I I gen I genuinely don't think the the gap is as big as it used to be. Um I think over time things are definitely evened out a little bit. I would never I wouldn't certainly wouldn't say oh they're they're completely even now, but definitely evened out to an extent. 
Um, you go in there. You go in there. Um. Uh, you're just gonna go man to man. That's it. Get in their face. Block dodge guy. You think it's harder to go from Dota to LOL than the other? I don't know. I I would I would say I found it reasonably easy because the the first the first MOBA I ever played was Heroes of New Earth, which was basically um. Which I feel like was arguably... I was going to say, yeah, reverse what you said. Okay, yeah. I definitely think it's easier to go to go from Dota to LoL. Yeah, I think it's definitely easier to do it that way around. I think if you play LoL first and then you go to Dota, a lot of it is kind of alien to you. Or not alien, it's just a lot stranger than it otherwise would be. Like the last, the denying mechanic. It's last hitting and denying. And just the fact that the game is just so much more punishing... Um, with regards to falling behind, I think that is the um, that is the big the big thing with it. Um, I do have another reroll. Do I want to risk like running away with the ball here? I'm not sure if it's worth it to be honest. Um, nah, nah. You know what? We'll just keep our tackle zone. And then that's that. Water for I'm a 40k dark Nexus Arena. I ha you know what? I hadn't even seen um I hadn't even seen anything about that. If they are doing a Warhammer 40k MOBA, I would very much be interested to see how it turns out. Um, that would definitely be interesting to me. They've gone into the opponent's tackle zone. Yeah, should be good. My, I mean, to be honest, I'm just really surprised that at this point, like, what, what my dream game is, my dream game at the moment would be just a tape, like, a 40k or, or Warhammer Fantasy version of Blood Bowl, like a proper accurate representation of the tabletop game. Um, I would very much love that as a game, but unfortunately, it doesn't allow me to that. Real Attat. Real ATAT, or is it Real Attat? Either way, hi to you too. It's nice to see you in the stream. Welcome. How are you doing this evening? God, the stun really hurts, because that was the guy that we could keep. We could keep free and clear. Aha, here's some friends. Come on, guys. Together. Although he still can't. He's still trying to pick up with the thrower. I, again, like, we, we're doing okay. It's just these, the KOs. The KOs really, really get into us now. We need players on the pitch is what we need. Um, but yeah, I would love if they just did, if they did a proper accurate representation of 40k and then just did like the the League of Legends business model. Like, I would love it. They could, they could literally just sell you 40k with like... They could put all the races in it, and they could say every week we're going to give you two races to play for free. And if you want a race to play all the time, you pay for it. Like it would be great, but um, but it doesn't look like we're ever going to get that anytime soon. I assume because they feel like it's going to take business away from them, um, away from their actual physical modelling business. Total War, I'm look. I I'm also looking forward to Total War Warhammer, but mainly more because it's Warhammer than because Total War. Like I, I've said before on stream, I don't hate, I don't dislike real time strategy games. Um, it's just that I'm not very good at them. <laughs> like I'll definitely play it and have fun with it and play the campaign and stuff. It would, I'll definitely do that, but I'm not. Um... Be enough to come out on top? Oh, that's unfortunate. But he still only gets one dice here. I just always feel like every time they bring out a, like a 40k game, it always just I always just die a little inside that it's not like a proper turn-based 40k game. And this is really this is really annoying. Like these orcs just get repeatedly punched away. Like I just want one of them to go badly. One of these blocks. Um, right. So you are going to go back in here. You're going to go back in here, I guess. Um, yeah. God, I'm really yeah, losing out numbers wise, aren't I? Fight. Is there a way I get. If I got this guy out of the way, 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nah, that's too much. Okay, so I'm not going to bother with that just now. I could blitz this guy and then get a tackle zoning, maybe. Okay. So I suppose that's probably our best shot. Yeah, actually, yep. Space Hulk, Space Hulk was a very fateful um, was very fateful to the board game. I'll have to actually look into Space Hulk um, to see what it's like. Might need to re-roll these going for it here. Oh, okay. Right, and now I can almost certainly try one dice here. Because if this goes well, that's fine. Um. Um. Which way do I want to do this? Because he blitzes. Yeah, I suppose I want to keep. Mm. There's no real good way. Yeah, the the fen piece has done work here actually. He has. Um, we'll go here. Yeah, I should um I should actually look into Space Hulk. It, it it does look pretty fun actually. Um Yeah, Dawn, Dawn of War was again. Dawn of War was a really, really fun game, and this, and this is not me. Honestly, this is not me knocking the like the Warhammer games that have come out. Like they've had some really, really good games. Dawn of War one and two were both really, really enjoyable games. I really enjoyed them. Um, I'm sure Total War Warhammer is going to be a very, very good game. Blood Bowl is a very, very good game. I just wish that after all the years of them making for, like War, Warhammer and Games Workshop games, that at some point we would have just got a proper turn-based 40k game. Like that's all I really like. If I had that game, then that would I would be happy. I'd be like, okay, I can play 40k on the on the internet versus other people. I am done. <laughs> like, I will be playing that game for, for ages, and I will be throwing money at them. <laughs> I'll be like, take my money, give me all the races, yes please. <laughs> uh, I'm not, I don't remember Dark Omen that well. I remember I remember the old Warhammer Fantasy one. The, um, the Warhammer Fantasy Battle or whatever it was, that was pretty cool. Um, but they could actually, like, they could quite easily, like, I, I really feel like if they did, like, if they did a, an electronic version of 40k, and then, and had all the races in there, and then basically said to people, every week, you can play for free a small, say, 1,000 point army of, of humans versus orcs. But if you and if you want to play the other races, then you just pay for whatever races you want to play. They could sell people different skins, like they could sell them as different chapters. They could sell, they could sell all kinds of different stuff. And as long as the game was good, they it would be amazing. Like they would make so much money. Um, quick draw, man. How you doing? Good to see you. Good to see you. Um, but yeah, I really feel like I really feel like they they could do they could do wonders with that with that game. About to get punched God the damn it. At the same time. So is that his, is that this this way? Okay. So he gets the catcher free, but now he's got okay. So hopefully we get a black orc free next time, which is good. Like this guy's the guy's this guy's really good at like picking his blocks and that. Like he's he's really really good. He's done really really well. Like he, things got a bit hairy for him early on because I managed to get the ball carrier down. But that is purely because the um, like I really feel like having wrestle on that catcher is like a, a really, a really. Like it's going to cause him a lot of problems in the long run. I really feel like, um, but but we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, exactly. Who said Brett's would a punch of humans? Um. Yeah, ta tabletop simulator. The Warhammer Forty K on tabletop simulator is it, like I just feel like it's going to be. It's just awkward to deal with. Is my big thing. Like I, don't, I don't necessarily like. I think whoever made it did a really like. It's probably done. Put a lot, lot of effort into it. Um, can I get a guy? No, I can't get a guy around there, which is unfortunate. Um, right then. 
So I feel like he's probably going to score here. Just because we've run out of players. Like, we've just literally run out of players. We could get a tackle zone in there. Maybe. Do it that way. Yeah, I feel like we kind of have to block this guy. We would very much like him to go down. The the there we go. That really helps. So now we might be able to get some tackle zones. Or at least a tackle zone on the on the, on the the um, ball carrier. Yeah. <laughs> Anyone running an all-person friend? Yeah, they definitely do. They definitely do. Anyone running all peasant Bretts deserves deserves a medal of some description. Um, and I want to put this guy in here because I want to be able to. If this if this guy well this guy is almost probably going to get free. So what we would very much like to do is if he gets free, have this blitzer free to be able to to be able to chase him down. And to do that, we need kind of the catcher gone. Is that a guard guy? Yeah, which is. Unfortunate, but we've got to take the one dice here. That's unfortunate. Um, we'll have to follow him in. We can't not. Uh, and then it just becomes a case of taking probably a two dice uphill at some point. It's just a case of against who. I don't really think it matters. Although, if we take a two dice uphill... I mean, I suppose if we don't, he still has to... Yeah, you know what? We'll make him block. We'll make him block. Yeah, that's uh, yeah, definitely. Like, it is. That is the big point. It's not that it's it's not that it's essentially bad in theory. It's just that he uses it to then carry the ball, which is the weird part. That's the bit I don't get. Like, if you're going to give him wrestle, don't give him the ball, um, and and do it that way. Um. I mean, this is the block we kind of need to go badly, really. The ogre block. I don't. I don't expect it to. Again, it would be pretty harsh on him if it did. Like, if the ogre boneheads, that would be ideal. He didn't, but. Well okay, so he did it that way, which is fine. Why did he get? Strength three. He's not got. Why did he get two dice there? Am I? Am I going mad? He's not got guard. Oh, but he's not in a tackle zone. That's why you got. To, sorry, for a minute there, I, was, I had a mini stroke. Um. Yeah, I mean, yeah, no, I mean, don't. Yeah, maybe he does. Like, maybe he has a plan which I'm not quite seeing myself. But I, I do feel like it's a little on the other side. I really do. Um. So this is going to be the important part now. Granted, our blitz has got dodge. So I feel like we're definitely in an okay spot here. It just depends what he does with the ogre. If the ogre clocks this blitzer in the head, we're in we're in a lot more we're in a bigger bigger problem, bigger spot. Uh, we really needed the bonehead there. There's nothing better than hitting that, someone. That actually small. works all right for us. Yeah. Like the push is okay. Not again, not ideal, but we might be able to get there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we can still make it with a dodge. It's still only one dodge, so we're not overly fussed. The actual block's going to be awkward because it's. You know, one dice against this guy. Now it's a lot harder, actually. Now I'm not sure. I and mean, we maybe can still get one dice, but it's certainly not going to be easy. Yeah, as I said, the only, the only, the only way I can see. Well, that seems this. Oh no, because this guy can't. Okay. Okay, yeah. So now we're now we're pretty um, a kind of boned with regards to um, with regards to catching him, which is a shame. Again, I feel like this is one of those weird halves where we did okay, like maybe just a little bit. I I, on, I honestly feel like maybe just being a little bit more fortunate over here, we might have been all right. Um, as things stand now, I don't think we can catch him. So, you stand up. Well, alright. Yeah, I don't I don't think we've got any pieces that can catch it. We'll like we'll we'll put we'll, we'll run a guy down, but mm. 
They're getting up close and personal, Bob. Not yeah, like the only the plan I think, like well, my best guess at what his plan might be is that you would he would he would give him like wrestle um and tackle and then just use him as a defensive player to just be really annoying against skinks and gutter runners. Like just make it really hard for skinks and gutter runners to outrun his team. And I and I definitely don't necessarily think that's a terrible idea. I feel like there's definitely a place for defensive catchers in a human team. Um, I just feel like if you're going to do that, the, as again, again, the only weird part about it is the fact that he gives him the ball. Like, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, yeah, it's going to be rough. Miniature man, how you doing? How you doing? We have been conversing greatly about the benefits, the, the benefits and drawbacks of your catcher. Um, it's the wrestle. The wrestle is a little bit, a little bit of a of a strange one. So, yeah, if you um, if you after the game, if you are still about, are like, and you and you want to go like. And you've got some ideas on the wrestle on the human catcher. I would very much... I'd be interested to hear them. I really would. Because it's not the way I would do it. I, I've kind of been saying that the, the best way I can think is that he's going he's gonna to turn out to be a defensive type catcher. With maybe like tackle and stuff to annoy skinks and gutter runners. Um, but apart from that, I'm honestly not really sure. Because... Wrestle on an offensive catcher seems... Like it's going to cause you more problems than it's worth. Um, but yeah, man, if um, if you you if you got any thoughts on it, I'd I'd very much like to hear them. Rackle, yeah, I mean, definitely, like wrestle tackle, definitely is a very good is a very very good way to to get the ball off people. I I definitely feel like it's a very very a very very good set of skills on someone who's going to hunt down the ball carrier. Move right next to a teammate. But like in this again in this game specifically, I feel like 90% of your problems or the the only reason like this hurt this half has turned into a little bit of a struggle for for you is because of the the um the way this went up here, and the only reason this went the way it did up here was because of um because the catcher had wrestle, because if the catcher had block he just would have stayed on his feet, so that was a bit strange. But oh, getting players served all over the place. You know, the fence may solve this problem of players being eaten by the crowd. Justified. Oh, I just realised it's sweltering heat, isn't it? We could end up with players off the pitch all over the place here. Oh, I very much like both of my carriers back as well. Thank you. Oh, this guy. Oh, I dodge. I dodge blitzer just collapses. Don't like that much. Mind you, he lost one of his blitzers as well. Taking wrestle is that he shouldn't have the ball unless he is scoring. Um. Oh, okay, fair enough. Oh, yeah, okay, right. That 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 was the bit that was confusing me. That you gave him the you gave him the ball and then like because you gave him the ball to carry as a wrestle piece. That makes more sense. That makes more sense. Right. Yeah. Fair enough. Okay. No. No. I definitely um. I definitely, I definitely, like, I definitely see the thinking behind it. Like, I personally always go block, but I can definitely see the thinking behind it. Like, the thing that was really confused me was that you had wrestle on him and then you gave him the ball, and that was just like pff, mind blown. I'm not, I have no idea what his plan is here. But if it, if the point is that you are just literally going to use him, I'm only going to throw him the ball when he's in the end zone or when he can score, then it makes a lot more sense. It makes a lot more sense. Are you going to go like the jump up route as well then, or? 
or anything like that in the future. God, we lost Shady Tom. I've heard that quote so often. It still makes me chuckle. Yeah, and that Fender, they, I do like this Fend lineman you got here. The Fend lineman actually is a really annoying piece to deal with. Ah, oh, fair. Yeah, no, no. As I say, I mean, I definitely, I, I definitely see where you're going with it now. Like, if, if, if the idea is to just make him annoying and then only give him the ball when he can score, I definitely, I definitely see the point. I definitely see the point. I was just, I was, I was, I was just confused at the beginning because you gave him the ball. That was it. I was like, I, I, at first, I was like, okay, he's got wrestling his catcher. That's nice and interesting. And then you gave him the ball, and I was like, okay, now I have no idea why he's got wrestling his catcher. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, no, it makes more sense. Are you gonna go? This, are you gonna go wrestle on the second catcher as well? Uh, which way do we want to do this? You want to go east or right? Yeah. Gathering around that lone player, like halfway around a sandwich. Is the assist gonna be enough to come out on top? I think I kind of messed it up a little bit, but never mind. This is going to be decisive. Wrestle and sidestep. Okay, yeah, that makes him. That does make him pretty hard to deal with. I will give him that. Um, I wonder if I can get. Go. Oh, come on. There we go. Uh, and then we go for the uh, good old, good old orc. I'd very much like to make this for the quick. Oh, come on! I just wanted the ones, the one, the one SPP. Never mind. Wrestle and dodge. Oh yeah, no, no. Re wrestle and dodge is is an excellent combo. Like wrestle and dodge together is an excellent combination of skills. It makes people really hard to do. Like it makes it really hard to like proper do people in. Um, I really like wrestle and dodge as a set of skills. I just um, I was just like wrestle on catches is a bit because I I generally like I use my catches or. When I get my catches the ball, sometimes there is a, there is the, the, the sometimes they have to they have to survive a turn, um, and I feel like it's much it's much easier to survive a turn with block than it is with wrestle. But no, I definitely see where you're going. Wrestle and dodge makes them really really hard to deal with. Um, it makes it very hard to to put solid blocks on them. Originally, when I saw it, I thought I thought you might be going the wrestle tackle route to make him kind of like a defensive catcher, like as a as a protection against skinks and gutter runners and things like that, like a guy that can just chase them down from basically anywhere on the pitch and then either wrestle them to the ground or or you know negate the dodge with tackle. Um, oh, is there more people fainted? There are. Oh, I lost Blitzer and a lineman. Okay. 
Oh, throw it. See, are you, oh, mind you, you lost the Mighty Blow Blitzer, so I can't complain too much. Right. Uh, yeah, the, yeah, the heat. Definitely. Not doing anyone any favours. Uh, where is my... Have I got a guard? Where, I, oh, did it, is it my guard? My one guard guy that went off? Oh, yeah, it is. That's a shame. Just what are you doing, Jim? Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Bob. You've caught me polishing my teeth. Why are you polishing your fangs, Jim? Since we are now zapped across the old world in high destiny cabal vision, the viewers can see everything. Huh? So I need to look my best. Um. Alright, where do we want to go here? Not quite sure. Lineman. There we go. Uh, <laughs> We're gonna see some frozen balls today. Oh, hard as rocks, and good for throwing right at the enemy. This is not necessarily ideal for us, but yeah, the weather's just gone completely nuts. <laughs> Um, let us let us do some ball protection and then see where we end up. That player is looking rather smug for remaining upright. Pride comes before fall. Um there we go. Attacker has an assist. I think he just didn't want he didn't want the ogre to get crushed straight off the line of scrimmage, is all. Uh, and that's the end of that. Once did we both start with like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, we both started with nine. The sweltering heat, the last the last um Sweltering Heat got a bunch of players actually. Um Yeah, I feel like I think I, my best guess is that he just didn't want to uh, didn't want to just risk risk getting pulled up on by a load of black orcs or something. I kind of hope, like, I kind of hope things go a little bit better for us this half. Like, we went, um, we kind of, I think we, we, I feel like we kind of lost the, um, the punch war in the first half. Right, so where is he going with this? Croxiade yet bomb. A sports drink made by the scaven of clan pestilence? No thanks. What's our plan here? Not sure yet. Punch all the things, probably. Punch all the things. See what happens. 
Yeah, I mean the guy, the guy, the guy's really good on defense. Like he's definitely very good on defense. Mm -mm -mm. It is Miller. Miller is about yeah. The ogre's actually done pretty well this game, as far as ogres go. Like he hasn't, he's been getting his licks in, and he hasn't really boneheaded, as far as I can remember. Which is always good. As long as, as long as your ogre's not boneheading every turn. It reminds me of the famous story of Nurgling and the Great Unclean. But this time... Oh, there goes the piling on. Oh, that was the other thing. Oh god, injury. Um, never mind though. Yeah, the the pile, the like the piling on, like I get that, like don't get me wrong, I get the piling on break tackle. It's just a gen, yeah, gen, genuine, generally, or a lot of people, not 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 everyone, but I know a lot of people, me included, tend to fire their ogres if they don't get doubles for the for block. But um, but obviously you've not gone that route. You've gone for the piling on route, which I definitely don't. I don't dislike. It's pretty fun. It's it's definitely a, a dangerous dangerous piece. Uh, if it has games like if it has good games where it doesn't bonehead, it's definitely um definitely can do a lot of work. Right, uh, three pieces to cage with, four pieces to cage with. How far can you get? How far can you get? They're building a cage around the ball here. It's a solid tactic. Mm -mm. <laughs> yeah, the ogre, the ogre piling on animation is awesome. I re it really is. I really do like it. Uh, I can't really afford to re-roll that at this point in time, so we will not. Will and then, what do we want to do here? Hmm. This way. Oh, we rolled the double skull anyway. Oh, quad skulls. Oh, that um, that puts me in a bit of a pickle. Yeah, and that that might have been, that might have been a little ambitious. I probably shouldn't have done it that way. But never mind. These things happen. Oh well, he's eventually boneheaded, which is good. And, and, uh, that um, that quad skull. <laughs> yeah, skulls for the skull throne indeed. That quad skull was no fun. I would very much love this uh, Blitzer to just be an absolute hero and soak up a load of blocks for me. That would be very nice indeed. It seems really weird, like playing with only nine apiece because of the uh, the crazy sweltering heat. That's good. So he may, he, you know what? He soaked up two blocks and survived. We can, we can he live with that. Unfortunately, our, our ball carrier is in so much trouble after this. Like my thinking was that I could, I could do this, and even if I got a push, then he would tie up these two guys at least, and then I could just try a dodge with a reroll if I had to, and see how it went. But you know, again, it was, you know, it wasn't the safest play. I could have just left the cage as it was, not done anything, and just ended my turn. Which, in hindsight, would have, is probably a better idea, but... Um, They'll need to get rid of the ball. Now there's pressure on them. Oh, this could be fun. Especially if the ball... Oh, there we go. Play. Oh, I did not want that. I very much did not want the ball to go that way. Got it. If the ball popped out this way, I would have felt okay about it. But going that way, that kind of hurts a lot. 
So, what will be the plan here? Oh, we very much would like him to fail these uh, these dodges. Um, I don't feel like standing him up does any good. But that guy doesn't help. I'm going to get one. Okay, unfortunately, yeah, this guy. Okay, right. Yeah, this is all a bit crappy now. Um, they've both got guard, they do. Okay, so I might as well ignore these guys. This guy can one dice. You're almost certainly going to go here. Back on one dice, but it's a little risky. That player is about to get punched above okay. and below the bed at the same time. No, I did that wrong. Never mind. Now I've probably got to make a one dice somewhere again. Yeah. No, oh, that's not why. I just wanted to push. Ah, oh, double skulls again. Never mind. That that really hurts. That really hurts. Again, like I messed this up. Putting the guy here was a mess up. What I should have done is put the black orc here because I was, what I wanted to do was get two dice on this guy so that I could then get two dice on this guy. And if and if I and even if I could just push these guys away, um. Then I could get a two dice blitz here or here, um, which was the plan. But um, but it did not work out that way. Yeah, quad quad skulls into dub skulls. It's not not ideal. Not ideal. But again, I will say I will hold my hand up and say that part of that is is of me is of my own making. If I would have, um, if I would have not mispositioned there, then I would maybe I get my, you know, I don't have to make a a block like that. And now we are in an exceptionally bad pickle because two nil down is rough, very rough. It's more the quad, the quad skulls are what, so are what really butchered us here. That was kind of um, that was kind of the bit that really went, really went pear shaped. Oh. We've really just not done enough, um, like punching wise as well. We really haven't. Had, we haven't really haven't had a good, a good game like armor break wise. Oh, that snow! The snow! Come on, snow! Oh, never mind. <laughs> I thought the snow might save me, <laughs> but clearly not. Nice one, Miller. Nice one. But yeah, but I really don't feel like, definitely feel like, um, like our, our AV9 is definitely not doing that great against the AV8 this game. Right, if we're gonna, if we've got a chance here, we got, um, we got to try and score reasonably fast now, which is a problem for the Orcs, but not, not impossible, but definitely not necessarily the easiest thing in the world. We're gonna make a go of it though. We are gonna make a go of it. Mm -mm. Unfortunately, we burnt we burnt our rerolls on those last two turns. Um, 
which way do you want to go? We want to go in this way. Where's the yeah, Okay, so you're going to go sort of here. Okay. Yeah, I mean, to be, to be fair, like, I, I don't think, it's not like a case of, oh, we didn't break any armor, so that's why we lost. That's, that's certainly not the case. Um, you know. You've played well, and the, like, I feel like the, the Ogres had a good game, which is nice. Ah, God. I kind of, and again, like, I've taken a risk here loading up on this side so that I could maybe try and score quickly for a... Because I have to score two. There's no, there's no, there's no real point to me playing safe because I have to score two, which is why I set up like this. I wouldn't normally do it, but I figure load up one side and hope for the best. Unfortunately, the blitz is definitely the worst outcome we could have had as far as kickoff events go. So, what we kind of need now is for him to drop the ball. Yeah, we had sweltering heat. We had sweltering heat, and then it changed to a blizzard, <laughs> which is a bit, a bit hilarious, to be honest. Yeah, we very we kind of we very much need him not we not, we need him to drop the ball and we need it to go this way. Um, if he drops the ball behind him, we're kind of um, we're kind of boned, I think. Yeah, the, the most common of the most common of weather patterns: sweltering heat into a blizzard. That's it. There's probably there's some wizard in the stand just laughing his ass off. Ah, damn it! He caught the ball. Okay. Um. So I feel like we've got to take the two dice, really, and hope for the best. Um, I feel like that's the first thing we do. There isn't really much point us messing around doing other stuff first. That's part one. That doesn't work. Stab him in the face. Solid tactic. To kill the fool carrying the ball. Okay. Um. 67? Nah, no. Okay. Right, so now just and then and then we just get to the fun part of just just piling players in and hoping for the best. Um, Please go for it. Blitz. Um, what was gonna do here? I, uh, I feel like I'm gonna do this just to, uh, just on the off chance I need him later. There we go. Right. That's what we got. We got one, two, four turns left to score. Get score. Kick off. Get the ball back. Score again. It seems unlikely, but um, but we are definitely gonna make an attempt. We're definitely gonna make an attempt. Um. 
Just need him to survive. Just survive, our, our Blitzer friend. Ningajai. We need Ningajai to do wonders. Um, can he get... Has is, is this guy got guard? Yeah, this guy's got guard, which is unfortunate. Oh, the, the ogre dodge. Just... Oh. Damn you, ogre scum. Push is okay, though. We can we can live with that. And now the blitz has gone, which is nice. This player, the smells weakness. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Didn't even need break tackle. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, oh, that is that is pretty funny. Oh, mind you, yeah, he's got he's got a uh, he has got break tackle. Yeah, so that's fairly actually that is a that is a far more reasonable play than I uh, than I originally anticipated. I still would love to have seen the ogre just fall over. Um, oh, that is really unfortunate. Damn it! I think I think I've been sold some duff armor. I think that's what that's what it is. I think uh, someone's pulled like a Del Boy on me and sold me a bunch of rubbish. Oh, you know what? As well, we can only do quick and short passes, which really hurts. Like it, it really makes things makes it a lot more awkward to try and score quickly. Um, Extremely useful for breaking the lines. That player is shuffling off the field, and possibly off his mortal coil. A good solid handoff. These two players work well together. Time for old bullshit. We need to score fast. I wonder if we can make that. Can we make that quick? Mind you, now nah, because uh, I feel like we're better off using the reroll on the fifty percent rather than making because it's two pluses. Okay, right. Followed by a great pass, a classic combination. Um, again, we'd very much like to make this. No, we made the skulls. Oh, I really wanted to make that so I could tie these guys up, but never mind. More, more dub skulls. This, this bit worked, which is nice. Um, but I'm not sure. I assume now he can almost certainly get... Well, mind you, he has to roll going for it, which is the good part. Like, at least at least we've put ourselves in a spot where he has to make going for it. Um, and again, we've got no more re-rolls now, which is a, a, a shame. And we're still losing the punch war, which is really, really depressing. But, but, we might... Um, <laughs> we, we at least have hope. We we still have hope. We are only gonna have we are only gonna have two turns though, which so it's unlikely. But maybe we'll get a blitz. Maybe we'll get a blitz or a riot. A riot would would work. Or just like a pitch invasion where his whole team gets stunned or something. That would be fun. 
Yeah, you don't, like, don't get me wrong, and again, like I've always said, like, it's not, I certainly don't feel like I've lost just because I roll bad dice. Like, uh, there, I definitely made some mistakes. I do feel like we've had a pretty rough time, like, block-wise, though. I feel like, I feel like we've definitely come worse off on the armor rolls and the injury rolls. I mean, clearly. Um... But it just goes that way sometimes. Can this guy get there as well? Okay, so he can get there. Yeah, it's not. It's certainly not been spectacular. I mean, we've had like a quad skulls, a double skulls, another double skulls. You know, we've had some. We've had some. Uh, you know, rubbish dice. But we definitely made some mistakes about on our own part. We mispositioned a couple of times. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. They're attacking the ball, Bob. I know, Chief. Uh, there we go. Watching the same match as you. It was time. He's not far from the end zone. Hmm. So one dice, no reroll. I'm not sure I like them odds. A 67% or one dice, no reroll. Against Dodge Wrestle, I feel like well, I feel like we have to make the we have to make the um. I feel like we have to make the dodge here to get the assist. There we go. Okay. It's a blue. Let's there hope Napoli is smiling on those blocking dice, Bob. <laughs> Funnily enough, Milan, no, I don't think they have. I think um I think virtually everyone's made most of their dodges, which is which is crazy, you know. I think I think not. Okay, so now we just have to hope for a glorious Christmas miracle. Come on, fellas. There's still hope. I find you a touch to Mystic Bob. We need a blitz or a riot or something uh something equally spectacular. Have we not got a? Did I? Oh, did I throw? I get crocked. Yeah, I throw. I got crocked, which is unfortunate. Um, but okay, we're gonna go. We're gonna go with this. And see what happens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're both still nine v nine anyway, which is nice. Yeah, it, def it definitely. Uh, we've got the weather for it. We've got the weather for it. Like it would. It, we we definitely need. Like we can't. I feel like we can't do it without a good kickoff event. It's definitely going to take a good kickoff event for us to do it. But you know, stranger things have happened. Stranger things have happened. And you know me. I I like to be optimistic. I, f I feel. Like, I feel like there's still a small chance. It would, be, it would be very nice to still have one reroll left to try and do it, but as it is. You know, I may actually say something witty and insightful soon. I'm just waiting for the players and the coach to do something. Anything! Please, just be interesting. 
Come on, come on, good kick. Oh. Not the greatest, but we'll take it. Um, I don't know, I feel like we've probably got to leave a guy over here actually, just in case. And then... Okay, it's not ideal but... It could have been worse, it could have been worse. What we really needed was like a riot or a blitz or something like that. Blitz would have been nice there. But... It is what it is. There is a small chance he like fails to pick up or something or a block goes badly. Loose ball is a dangerous ball. The player needs to secure it, and fast. Unfortunately, I feel like we needed the extra turn. Because it was going to take us, best case scenario, without a blitz or something, it, it takes us at least one turn to maybe get the ball carried down. And then one turn to pick it up and move. So. Attacker has an assist. He's on him now, like a halfling on a hot dinner. Oh, never mind. That's that's kind of the bit we needed to go. We needed to go wrong. I feel like now he's got the ball in hand, we might we might struggle. But we're definitely going to make an effort. Oh, that helps. Especially if he, I would love him to foul the loner. If he fails the loner, we actually we might have a shot. Not a big one, but we might have a shot. I'm kind of surprised he didn't try to re-roll it, but... We almost certainly need this guy down. They want him to go... So I probably should have blocked with that guy, so I could have blocked this guy, but never mind. Uh, stay. Now I'm going to have to make dodges. I didn't have to. Never mind. Yeah, I think I might balls this up. Actually, I'm almost certain I've ballsed it up. But. Because if we're going to win, we need to. I suppose. No, you know what? You know what we do. Go. Okay, right. They're getting up close and personal, Bob. You need to be that close. is a real shame. So close they can smell your breath and see the dead insects in your teeth. Okay, so we're gonna go out in here. Haha, <laughs> here's some friends. Um They've done well to stay on their feet. Even I okay. can't stop. Them. 
Oh, there we go. That's better. This could be a uh, okay. I feel like that's about as good as we're going to get there. And we'll see what happens. We have one small chance. It's very small, but it's still a chance. I'm not sure what the best play here would be, actually, if I was him. I'm not sure if I'd try and block my way out of it or dodge my way out of it. He's still got a re-roll. It's un like it's unfortunate for us that he has the one re-roll left. If he had no re-rolls, I'd feel a little I'd feel a lot better about this, but as it is, not so much. I would I would very much like him to roll quad skulls for once. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how I'd go about it. Whether I'd go for the block route or the or the dodge route. You reckon? You reckon that's the way you'd go about it? No, oh, fair enough. You'd go... Yeah, I don't know. I honestly don't know. I mean, I, I almost certainly wouldn't have done this first. Regardless of what I was going to do. But... With arms like three trucks, there was only going to be one result in that spot. Oh right. This is this is the it. This is the roll. If he fails this, we have a chance. If he doesn't fail it, we're probably boned. Oh. oh. So we have got a chance, a small chance. Now. It's going to require a lot of dice, but it's definitely doable. Okay. It's going to require two blocks. It's a shame this guy hasn't got guard, which is nice. Let we stand you up. And the plan is basically take two dice here, take two dice here, get this guy free, and then hand it off to this guy. Like. Um, and there we go. That kind of bones that bit, unfortunately. We're going to have to. We're going to have to push him onto the ball. In the hope that the ball spills out somewhere. That's not ideal, but. And then we roll a dumb skull. Never mind. Okay. So that put paid to that. We needed those blocks to go well. And we rolled dumb skulls again. <laughs> so we didn't get a chance. The, pl the plan was to just try and clear out the ball. And then pick up, hand off and run. And see what happened. But we never got that far, unfortunately. Yeah, definitely. We've had we've had definitely had more skulls in this game than we did in our two dwarf games. Put together, really. Like, it's... Uh, it's gone that way. Oh, Miller Duo, by the way. Thank you very much for the follow. I really do appreciate it. We didn't get our, um... We didn't get our, um... Goblin Dance. Well, if we did, I certainly didn't hear it. I did test it before the stream. I'm going to test it again now. No, it's not working. God damn, I don't know why sometimes it just stops working. I will have to, um... I'll have to have a quick look. Yeah, little goblin is just having a having a little rest. Let me test it again. Oh, it's working now. Yeah, my apologies, Milladio oh, man. Thank you very much for the follow. I, do, I really do appreciate it. Uh, I'm sorry the goblin dance didn't go off for you, my man. Everyone does a everyone does love a little goblin dance. Um, but yeah, thanks for the follow. I really do appreciate it. I'm um, I'm glad you enjoyed the stream, or at least enjoyed the game, and uh. 
And I hope you enjoyed your belated goblin dance, even though it had my name on it, which I apologise for. Ever Mikey Man, how you doing? Good to see you again. Yeah, re regularly in a developer streak, in, in developer speak, it's like whatever we get around to them, isn't it? <laughs> But GG Miller, GG. We have been, we have been defeated. We have taste, we have tasted bitter defeat at the hands of the humans. <laughs> yeah, that was a fun game. Though. That was a fun game. We did like we got we got a bit um we got a bit bogged down in the first half when we had the ball, which kind of put paid to our chances. And a couple of um oh sorry not when you had the ball, like we managed to get the ball off the humans up in the top right hand corner, which was good. But then we could never quite get enough orcs across to secure it, and he managed to sneak it away again. Which wasn't the end of the world, but then in the second half, like having that quad skull like really boned us. Granted, I will say what I did was a little bit risky because I felt like if I just blitzed with the black orc, I could have tied up. I could have like even if I pushed the catcher, I could have just tied up the guys. It was it was definitely a, a risk I didn't have to take though. So you know, it's one of them things where it's like, oh, quad skull sucks, but I could have just not not rolled any dice there. So it's kind of my own fault. But yeah, we definitely came off worse on the old uh, punchy front. Did we get a level up? No, we did not. No, we did not. Uh, lineman out. Do we want to play with 11? I feel like we might buy an extra lineman here, because I don't really want to play with 11. Um... So yeah, I'm going to buy another one. Black, are you in? Are you in any of our? Are you in any of our? I don't think you're in any of our teams, are you, Black? Like you've been around a lot, but you've never. I don't think you've. I don't think you've ever been here when um. When I um. How do I look in when I've made a team? A so I might um, I might um, I'll put you in as a as a lineman. You're in. You're in. Humans are cool, man. I really like humans as a team. I play humans a lot. Uh, I really do like the human team. They are fun. I feel like they're fun to play. And when your ogre has a good game, oh, there you go, then Black. Good. I didn't. I didn't think we'd put you in a team yet, but you are. You are part uh, twelve three. That's not bad, man. That's a good record. Good. Good. Definitely a good solid record there. Uh, our our team's going up and down. It's a bit. It's a bit weird. I think it's like uh, five one. You are our first loss. Look at that. You have you have dealt us our first loss. This is the orcs' first taste of defeat. Never mind. <laughs> 